President-elect Joe Biden on Tuesday named several top advisors for his incoming administration, pulling trusted aides from his election campaign, as well as a Democratic congressman. But as the former vice president transitions to the White House, the current occupant still refuses to acknowledge the election results. The people of this nation have spoken. It's been 10 days since the race was called for Biden, and there's been no concession speech from Donald Trump, no phone call of congratulations from top GOP congressional leaders, no friendly visit in the Oval Office between the in and outgoing presidents, as Obama did for Trump, and Bush for Obama, and Clinton for Bush, and so on. On Monday, former First Lady Michelle Obama chastised Trump for refusing to start the peaceful transfer of power as she and her husband did four years ago, writing on Instagram, quote, Donald Trump had spread racist lies about my husband that had put my family in danger. That wasn't something I was ready to forgive, but I knew that for the sake of our country, I had to find the strength and maturity to put my anger aside. Our love of country requires us to respect the results of an election, even when we don't like them or wish it had gone differently. The presidency doesn't belong to any one individual or any one party. On Tuesday, Biden discussed national security threats with his own team of advisors rather than current government officials, as the Trump administration has blocked him from receiving the classified intelligence briefings normally accorded to an incoming president. I am not being critical, just stating the obvious. You know that I've been unable to get the briefings that ordinarily would have come by now. Uh, and, uh, um, and so uh, I, I just want to get your input on, uh, on what you see ahead. General Services Administrator Emily Murphy has not yet recognized Biden as the, quote, apparent winner, which is needed to release government funding and office space to the president-elect, even though Biden secured 306 electoral college votes to Trump's 232. Trump's unprecedented stonewalling could come with real-world consequences, especially when it comes to the coronavirus. When asked Monday what the impact might be from Trump's refusal to work with the Biden team on the pandemic, Biden didn't mince words. He said more people will die.